Danny, will you hurry up? We're going to be late. Ah, ah. Good. Buongiorno, signore. Oh, buongiorno, buongiorno. Ecco. Oh, very nice. Ah, thank you. Danny, Phil's waiting. We've got to hurry. Como? We've got to shoot those publicity pictures with Phil, so hurry up. Moglie, per piacere. Parlo italiano. What? Il signore wishes for you to speak uh, Italian, signore. Oh, that's ridiculous. What's ridiculous about it? We happen to be in Italy, and Italian is the language of the country, in case it comes as news to you. Therefore, my beloved one, I request that in the future, while we're here, we converse in the native tongue. Very well. Buongiorno. Bellissima. Arrivederci and pizza. <laughs> That is a complete rundown on my knowledge of Italian. Now, will you please hurry? I want to get through with these pictures for Phil. I've got a lot of shopping to do today. Tourists. <laughs> Look, how do you ever expect to get inside of a country and learn about the people if you don't speak their native tongue? I mean, honey, if I can do it, you certainly can. Uh, Camilleri. Signore? Uh, mette la crema sopra la mia testa. <laughs> Beg your pardon, sir? Oh, at least you could speak Italian to me. Well, that's better. And mette la crema sopra la mia testa. But, sir, please, no English. What's the matter? No capito? Pien piacere. Mette la crema sopra la mia testa. Humor him. Do whatever he wants you to do. <laughs> Very funny. Cream in a cup. But that's what you say in English, signore. In Italian, you say to me, please pour the cream on my head. <laughs> that uh, is the cup. Test is the head. Oh, it's not a linguist. <laughs> Let's get this one. All right, nice expression on your face, nice and lively. Say pizza. Do you mind if I say bicarbonate this time? I've said pizza so much I'm getting heartburn. <laughs> and I'm getting hungry. When are we going to eat? We will break for lunch just as soon as I get this shot. I want to get this stuff in the mail so I can get it back to the States tonight. Okay, come on. All right. Take the picture. Go ahead. All right. All right. Come on. Let's get over here. Where? I want to get another shot in front of this palm. What? Well, haven't you got enough shots? No, I'll tell you what I want you, one of you this time, Danny. You, you make like you're one of those statues, you know? Hit a pose, like you're one of the statues. You want me to make like a statue? Would you like it still alive or with water coming out of my ears? <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> Kathy, you do it for me, will you? Hit a pose like a statue there, you know? Hand over the head. Good. Now, Danny, I tell you what. You look at it like you're swelling with pride. I said swelling with pride, not indigestion. Shoot the picture already, Mr. Rossellini. Okay. Hold it now. Take the shot. Good. All right, now let's get one where you throw a coin in the pot. Oh, eh? Phil, haven't you had enough? You have shot more film than they did for Ben Hur. This may come as a surprise to you, buddy boy, but I am not doing this for myself, you know. I'm thinking only of your career. If I can get enough good shots here in Rome, maybe I can get a spread in the National Magazine. Bill, Bill, nobody appreciates you more than I do. I think you're the world's greatest agent, and I love you. But this is supposed to be relax time, our vacation. We'll have plenty of time to relax. When? Yeah, when? You've had us on a leash ever since we got here. I want to see Rome. I want to mingle with the people. Yes, and uh, I want to do some shopping. I've got to buy some presents for the kids. So far, I've only had a chance to buy a little camera from Linda, and it's only... I give you my word, in due time, I will take you both shopping. Oh, did you hear that? Goody, goody gumdrops. He's going to take us. Oh, thank you, dear Grandpa. But honestly, we've grown up now. We can cross the street by ourselves, button ourselves, and everything. You may bark as much as you wish, but that doesn't change anything. I am not letting you out of my sight. I don't want you to get in any more trouble. Who gets in the trouble? Who gets in trouble? He says, listen to him. 
I leave you alone in London for one day, and what happens? You get arrested for poaching. I leave you alone in Paris, you get clipped by a six-year-old con man. A guy who puts his nose in places where it doesn't belong can only get into trouble. And when a guy has a schnoz like yours, oh boy. <laughs> now cut that out! All right, let's get some more shots, hey? Oh, uh, Phil, I am tired and I am hungry, and I'm not going to pose for one more picture until I've had something to eat. Good girl. Okay, we'll break for lunch. Well, well. Hey, on the way over, I saw a restaurant really typically Italian with the atmosphere and the indoor garden and the food. Oh, if the wind was right, you could smell it from here. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Well, get it. What's the matter? The food in these out-of-the-way places is not safe. We'll drive back to the hotel. Oh, Phil, we oh. always eat at the hotel. We can get that kind of food back home. You see, the same kind of people. We want to eat Italian food with Italian people. Tell you what I'm going to do for you. As soon as we get back to the States, I will fix it so you can split a pizza with Joe DiMaggio. <laughs> Shut up. I am not going to take any chances. We are going back to the hotel. I'll tell this guy to meet us in an hour. Would you like to make a dash for freedom? I'm with you, fearless leader. <laughs> Phil, how about a picture of you? Why do you want to take a picture of him? I thought you wanted to get rid of him. That's how I'm going to get rid of him. Philly, how yeah. about a picture of you? You only got hundreds of us. I was telling Kathy we haven't got one of you. Ah, come on. Who'd want a picture of this kisser? I would. What for? You want to make a dartboard? <laughs> oh, that's real sweet. Thanks a lot. Your best friend asked to take a picture. I mean, you've got to make jokes. Okay, forget it. Well, wait. You were kidding, weren't you? Certainly not. I wasn't kidding. I thought it'd be nice to have a picture of you in our family album. I'm mean, sorry. I thought you were kidding. If you no. mean it, I'm flattered. Of course I mean it. Bring that camera wait, over No, here. never Come mind him. Never mind. Let's take it with Linda's camera. She'll oh. get a big kick out of this. Oh, yeah. A right. picture of Uncle Phil in the Villa Desti with her own little camera. Yeah, that'll That's be cute. Fun. Where do you want me? Over here by this? No, no, no. There's a nice fountain over there I'd like to get oh, you yeah. by. Okay. Fine. Why is that fountain? It's deeper. Come on. <laughs> okay, this all right here? Yeah, this will be fine. This is a pretty shot right here. Here. All right, fine. Well, now, now back, back up a little bit. Back up a little back bit. Back up? Yeah, back up a little bit. Back up, yeah. A little more. A little more. Back up a little more. Yeah, sure. A little more. A little more. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> Lucky you said hold it, buddy. I was just going to blow the whistle. Why? I thought you were trying to pull that corny gag oh, on me, you know, back me in the pool. What I do a silly thing like that? I guess well, those flower just... pots you'd be growing out of your head. Tell oh. you what, stand up on the ledge there, then you'll be above the pot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay? Yeah, Fine. All right, like this? Yeah. All right, I'll hit a nice pose for This you. camera's too small. <laughs> Let me get a little closer here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this, this ought to be a great shot. Oh! oh! Not a word of English. Isn't that wonderful? Daddy, can you read this? Of course I can read it. What do you think? You're married to a dummy? Polo con pepperoni e rizzo. Saltimbocca alla romana. Lasagna verde. What would you like? Honey, that's wonderful. What does it mean? I just said I could read it, not understand it. 
polo con pepperoni e rizzo, that is. Chicken with peppers and rice. Let's have that. Oh, wonderful. Oh. Well, here's the waiter. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Buongiorno. Uh, voglio qualche uh, uh, cosa da mangiare. You want it here? Yeah, sure. We have not... Uh, no alburger, no steaks, no hot dogs. <laughs> we want to eat real Italian food. Yeah. You would not like it. Huh? Uh, molto drogato. Drogato? Uh, too spicy. Oh, no, we like spicy food. How about this, uh, uh, polo con pepperoni e, e, e rizza? Uh, I don't recommend you. But uh, there is a, a, a nice restaurant in the hotel, on the piazza. Uh, maybe you like it better. I have a feeling he's saying, Yankee, go home. Uh, pardon? Well, I mean, uh, uh, your, your attitude and the, the, the way the people are acting here, too. Uh, it was pretty gay when we walked in. All of a sudden, it got like a morgue here. Uh, what's the matter? Don't you people like Americans? We like Americans very much. You do? Uh, my new bambino, his name is... J.F.K. Abrogazzi. <laughs> What's the matter? I will tell you, Americans, don't come to a place uh, like this. We are the simple uh, working people. My customers, uh, no fancy, uh, well-dressed like the signora, uh, like the signore. My customers, they are uh, embarazzati. Uh, what's he? Uh, embarrassed. Embarrassed, yeah. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, well we didn't mean to intrude. I I'm sorry if we've embarrassed them. We'd better go, Kathy. Uh, signore, you understand? I understand. Listen, listen. As soon as we walk out, the singing starts. I wonder what you have to do to join their club. I don't know. Like the man says, we, we just don't belong. Well, what now? Well, I guess we'll catch a taxi and go back to the hotel and have lunch with our underwater agent. <laughs> I suppose so, but you know I'm really disappointed. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, honey. Not your fault. Hey, how does that saying go when in Rome, do as the Romans do? You're up to something, Danny Williams. Please, no <laughs> calling me Danny Williams. My name is FDR Bacicolo. Come on. <laughs> About. Oh, I don't know about a lot of things. Like like leaving our good clothes with that man back in the flea market. Sweetheart, he said he'd send them back to the hotel, and he will. These are very honest people. Now, stop worrying. Come on. Danny, I don't think we're going to get away with it. Why not? We look like anybody else in this neighborhood. It's pretty far to go for a lunch, and pretty long, too. I'm doing it for you. You said you wanted to join the club, didn't you? Yes. Well, it's now or never. Who knows when we'll be back in Rome again? Besides, I always want to take one of those wild Italian women to lunch. <laughs> Me, Italian? The moment I open my mouth, we're dead. I know. What? Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Lasagna, 
getting away with it. They think we're one of them. When we get home and tell the kids about this, they just won't believe us. <laughs> here either. Where are now, Signore? We're gonna look at some more cafes. We have been to 18 cafes. I know, but there's some place here in this neighborhood, and if I have to, I'm gonna look for them in 118 cafes. I thank you, and my mother thanks you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Qualcos'altro? Il conto, il conto. Subito. Novecento lire. Oh, grazie tanto. Grazie. Wonder. Yeah, yeah, swell. Come, come on, let's go. What's your hurry? I'm not in a hurry. After a meal like that, a nice brisk walk will do us good. Now, come on. Jelly, why so fast? The Olympics aren't until next year. Danny, what's the matter with you? Sweetheart, I, I, I did a dumb, stupid thing. Oh, what particular thing was that? <laughs> no time for jokes. This is serious. When I was paying the check, I flashed a lot of money, and a couple of dangerous-looking characters saw me, and I think they've got ideas. Oh, honey, I'm sure you're just dreaming this up. You said yourself they're very honest people. Yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. Uh-oh. You're wrong. There they are. Oh, what, are we, what are we gonna do? No, no, don't be frightened. Don't be frightened, Skinner. We just make a break for it and hope for a policeman. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Don't look back. Come on. To tell you the truth, I, that lasagna is laying like a rock. What are we going to do? I don't know. I'm just going to have to face him, I guess. I'm scared. Oh, God. Nah, it's just a couple of smooches. Let's go. Let's not lose our heads, fellas. 
Now you can relax, talk this thing over now. Now you, you can, Scott, you can Scott. have the money, but don't touch my wife. Scott, your portafoglio. Or me either. Portafoglio. Dame el portafoglio. You don't want the wallet. Give it to me. Here. Policia! 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 Why are they calling the police? Who cares? Let's make it a court judge. Policia! Policia! I don't know, they're going too fast. Eh, sì, sì, io l'ho visto proprio come è andato. Salve, ha tirato un sacco di soldi dalla tasca. Come ne tirava? Guarda come come Allora, adesso domando io. Holy Toledo. Honey, what is it? What's the matter? Well, from what I can pick up, did they think that I, I've stolen this wallet? What? Officer, look, uh, 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 that's my wallet. Io, io no, no parlare italiano, eh, comprendi un poco per non parlare. Oh, if you could only speak English, I... I speak English. You speak English? I show you. you Isn't that wonderful? He speaks English. You are under arrest. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not under arrest. You don't understand. I you? understand. Huh? A bad man like you can give our city a bad name. Huh? What is going to sound like when this American, Danny Williams, goes back to America and says we robbed him? Oh, but also, I would never say that about this city. I think it's a wonderful oh, city. Officer, this is Danny Williams. Yeah, I'm Danny Williams. I, he's Danny yeah, that's right, I am Danny Williams out there. Hi, is, is Danny Williams. Yeah. What do you believe? I'm stupid. Just because you speak English, you believe that I don't know that you are Italian? But I'm not Italian. I'm an American. I, I can prove it. I'll show you my passport. Oh, show me your passport. I'll show you the passport. It's in the other club. Oh, my. Oh. Uh, officer, look, I'll show it to you later. Right now, let me explain. Oh, come on, officer, be sensible. Look at my face. Can't you tell I'm an American? Take a good look at this face. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Look, look, look. look I, 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 American redhead. I'm a redhead. So is my wife. We sell peroxide in Italy, too. Come on. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad to see you, buddy. You are the ones. Yeah. We're the ones, are Well, right. you're a couple of rough-looking characters. <laughs> they look like the kind of fellas who try to drown an innocent man, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, just a gag now. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them who we are. Let's get out of here. Yeah, sure. Uh, now, as I understand it, when you found them, it was at the end of a dead-end alley, and you didn't believe them when they claimed to be Mr. and Mrs. Danny Williams, right? right. Uh, no, no, no. no. I, I don't blame you. <laughs> After all, who would believe that a couple of people who looked like this could be the successful American entertainer and his wife? <laughs> yeah, we got quite a get-up, all right, haven't we? <laughs> yes. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. I'll tell you the truth, we are. We are. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> now, may I have my wallet? Yeah. Your, your, your what wallet? do you mean, your wallet? Why? Yeah, you are, Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams? <laughs> Wait a minute, he's not Mr. Oh. Williams. <laughs> 